Afternoon, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, these things happen. So, uh, update probably on the on. on uh, Recording in progress. The, uh, the the fitness of the squad. Uh, We've got we've got nearly a fully fit squad uh, for the game at the weekend. LGP is suspended. Uh, Robbie, we're not going to take any risks on. Uh, he'll be back probably after the break, hopefully. Uh, but apart from that, we're uh, we, we're a fully fully fit squad. So uh, it's it's been a it's been a week where we've we've done some uh, you know we've done some good work with the players and uh, we've worked hard in terms of sort of like a reaction from the Chicago game. We've spoke to them at length and, we, and they've spoke to us at length about what's needed at this football club. And I think, I think, I think the conclusion, and I think it's really important to say, is that, that at this football club, we have to demand the absolute highest, highest standards every single week, every single day and every single game. And I think, I think the inconsistencies at the moment is something that we're not happy with. Uh, you know, I was under no illusions when I came to this football club, the expectations of what is required. And uh, at this moment in time, we're not yet at the level that, that I think is required for, the, for, for where this football club wants to go. So we all have to take responsibility for that. And, uh, and Saturday, football is the type where Saturday gives us a real, real special occasion where we can put things right, where we can start building momentum. Uh, we've obviously got a, a sold out stadium. Uh, the stadium in, in the last three games that we've had at home, even though they've uh, they've been partially uh, sold out in terms of the eight nine thousand that we've had, the atmosphere has been incredible, and I, and, I, and I can only speak on behalf of the players in terms of the importance of the supporters, and the fact that Saturday will be a special occasion where this football club will have uh, the whole stadium sold out for the first time in its history, and I think that is an occasion where where the players, myself will uh, be really looking forward to and one where we want to produce a real good performance. So we're all excited. We know what we have to do. We know the performance that we have to put in. And uh, that is that is top level sport where where the, the expectation is on us now to perform. And it's where we want to be and it's where it's where I want to be and it's where I, it's, it's the position that excites me. So off we go. Thank you. Let's get started with some questions. Uh, we will get started with Michelle Kaufman. Michelle, you're off mute. Hi, Phil. Hi, Michelle. Um, uh, I'm Rodolfo Pizarro. I wanted to ask, uh, what was the injury that kept him out of the game last week? Is he fully fit? And what role do you see him playing this weekend? Thank he, you. He, he had a, a, a top of the hip flexor, you know, the muscle where you kick the ball. Uh, he struggled with it the week before from the Cincinnati game. Uh, didn't feel as if he was, he didn't feel as if he was 100% uh, fit to be able to go out on the pitch and give his absolute 100% best. So we we decided to recover him for the Chicago game. He trained over the weekend. He's trained all week. Trained today, and uh, and we expect big things. Uh, Rodolfo, obviously, a lot of people talk about Rodolfo, and uh, there's lots of speculation about Rodolfo. But I, as I keep telling everybody and I, and I tell Rodolfo especially is that that we 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 love him in this football club he's a big player a big part of this football club he was uh, and and now it's about provide, providing a platform for him to go out on Saturday against DC and give his absolute best but but actually start enjoying his football and p playing with a little bit more freedom and and be and 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 be that level of player that we know he can be and uh, you know he's under no illusions uh, about the levels that he wants to be, he should be, and uh, we just need to make sure that we support him and getting in and in, in, in getting him and helping him get to those levels that we we need him to be at. Thank you, Michelle. Let's go to Kobe. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Phil. Hi, Kobe. So we saw uh, Ian around the training grounds today. I feel like for the first time. Uh, Feels like this is the the season since he had the injury. I guess where is um, how is his progress coming from his in his rehab, and do you anticipate him being a part of the group at all this season, or is it? I guess that'd be pushing it too much. Yeah, I mean he's he's been in and around the training ground uh, on and off because he's on a di he's on a different program because of his injury. Uh, he's integrating uh, with the first team. Uh, he was in our team meeting this morning. We're, 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 we're trying to give him a little bit of excitement, something that to to keep spurring him on. It, it was an, uh, you know, that injury is one of the most devastating ones because it keeps you out of the the 
a football, a, a job that he wanted to do. He'd had a great, great pre pre season where where I had such high hopes for him. Uh, and seeing him out on the grass the last couple of days has been really exciting. I, I'm not going to put any time frame on it. He's a young player that needs to recover fully. Uh, and if he recovers fully, back to his uh, athletic best, he's, he's got a big future at this football club. I think everybody knows that and he knows what I think of him. So uh, it, we're taking things really steady with him. But integrating him back into the atmosphere and, and the togetherness of the training grounds, I think it's really important because you come in Everybody goes out training and for an injured player, that's the loneliest time, especially, especially, especially when you're inexperienced and you're young and you're ambitious like Ian is. So uh, we need to make sure that we keep looking after him. Thank you. Guys, we'll take two more questions. We'll do Tom and then Franco. Tom, you're off mute. Thank you. Hey, Phil, sorry for uh, another uh, question about Rodolfo, but um, I wanted to get your thoughts on how he started the season and, and a little bit more about, you know, his role on the field and, and whether, you know, you'll see him kind of through the center or kind of on the wing to accommodate uh, Federico. Sorry, about Rodolfo, what, what's his season been like, did you say, Tom? Yeah, your, your thoughts so far, I mean, you know, after six yeah, games or whatever. You know, yeah. I, I, think, I think in terms of his work ethic and sacrifice for the team, he's been as good as anyone in the team. That's without a shadow of a doubt. He's just not probably got his rewards. In the areas that he wants to contribute more than anything, we spoke at length about him being a big impact uh, player for the team, goals and assists and key passes. Uh, I suppose that's the area that, that, that we now need to see more from Rodolfo. But in terms of his work ethic and his attitude, you know, he, he's he's been fantastic for the team and his work ethic every single day. There's been no there's been no player in this squad that's worked as hard as Rodolfo since coming back into market really early. So uh, attitude wise, I'm really, really pleased with him. Now I want him to get the rewards for the hard work that he's putting in, the sacrifice he's doing for the team and for his teammates. Uh, and Saturday will be that platform and uh, hopefully hopefully can produce a performance. Thank you, Tom. Franco, last question. Thank you, Jackie. Hey, Phil, how are you? Hi, Franco. Just wanted to ask you about what you want to see from the team from a pure soccer standpoint. I know over the weekend you talked about the mentality and the effort needing to be there and being at a certain certain level. But from a soccer standpoint, what would you like to see improve uh, going into this weekend and, and beyond? Thanks, Phil. Jose, have you got an England shirt on there? <laughs> Nice, nice. Uh, sorry, Franco. Uh, well, ultimately, ultimately, you know, the three points are, are really important, uh, along with a really good performance. I want to see us control the game a little bit more. I want to see us have more control in terms of our possession. We've said that from day one. I think the team, hopefully, that I'm going to pick will give us a little bit more of that, that control. But ultimately, I want to see the right attitude, the right uh, attitude to fight for each other, the right attitude to never give in, the right attitude to make sure we're trying to do the right things all the time uh, and to concentrate on us doing our job, not worry about what anything else is going on, the referees, the, the whatever else is going on in the, in the game. I want us to concentrate on what we do, and that is to play play as a team to fight for each other and and to and to to try and control the games better than what we're doing and and that's what we've been working on this week about the control in our game about the control in our possession and about us being a little bit more ruthless in the final third to make sure that when we get chances put them in we we are we are due we are due a goal from a set play we've been, we've been getting in some some great fantastic positions we've had free headers we've had we've had second ball uh, shots at goal that i think should have been turned into goals so it's that ruthlessness now in the final third from set plays from chances that we create especially at home think about the three home games that we've had I think we've created enough chances to win those games of football uh, apart from Montreal and now I want us to be ruthless is to make sure we, we, we get one chance we stick it in the back of the net and that's uh, that's really what we've been working on this week uh, the attitude the commitment and the togetherness of the team thank you Phil thanks guys have a great day